Hi girls! So today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection storage setup vanity tour kind of video and um, I have my stuff set up a little bit differently. I just have my makeup table and everything set up in my dining room table or in my dining room and I tend to set my stuff up more towards function and color more so than brand or anything like that which I've noticed out of all the YouTube videos it seems like that seems to be the most popular method is setting up by brand and I don't tend to do that I tend to set it up by color so I think that's about it and let's get started okay so here's just an overview of my setup I have the Alex 9 drawer set from Ikea, some pictures of my animals, my Marilyn Monroe picture I moved from my bathroom, a uh, little dry erase board, um, a little pegboard type thing with some ideas and looks that I do and stuff, my nail polish rack, um, my table which is from either Office Depot or Office Max, I don't remember, and then little stuff on that and then just kind of miscellaneous stuff underneath. So I guess I'll start over here and ignore this. This is the fabric for my Halloween costume. So I just have this little stool I sit on when I do my nails and it has a little bit of like extra storage stuff in it. Nothing too important, just stuff that I don't need out. So I have this, I got this from the container store and it was in I think like the kitchen section and it's supposed to have another level on it, but I actually got it for about half price because it didn't have the other level and I didn't need it at the time anyway. So I break mine down into colors. I have my glitters and stuff, my like more iridescent ones over here. I have all my pinks and kind of corallies, fruit punch type colors, stuff like that. And then my purples. And then these are just up here because I'm going to be using them soon, but they're the little Kiss Nail Art Halloween set. So then down here I have my yellows and golds, my greens, my blues, my reds, and then gray, silver, black, white, anything like that. Then at the bottom here I have any kind of treatment stuff, so top coat, bottom coat, strengthener, cuticle remover, anything like that. This is all my tools, so files, stuff like that, and then two nail polishes that actually are dried out and I need to replace. And then over here I have nail paints, like nail artist paints, my gems, my fake nails, my glue, and all my little decals and stuff like that over there. So that is that whole thing. And I'm trying to make this not as shaky as possible. And then on my tabletop, it tends to be stuff more I reach for constantly. So I'll kind of start on this side. This is my little basket that I put all my stuff in for my monthly review and haul. That way it's out. I can use it and see it all. Make sure I use it a lot so I can give it a good or negative review. And also then nothing gets forgotten in a drawer or something. So I remember to include everything. Then I have this little candle holder. It's up on a pedestal that I got from Walmart and just beanbag fill and then my face brush is in there. And then this used to be a candle holder and I just melted out the candle of it and this has all my eye brushes in it. And I just keep my kabukis there tucked in front. Then I have this little mirror from Target which I do not suggest you look at this thing funny and it gets really dirty. Like, it's always really dirty. Then I just have tissues. Then I have back here lip glosses that I wear a little bit more often. And then any of my, like, liquid pen type eyeliners. Any of my felt tip ones or any of my pen type ones or anything like that. And then my mirror is just a basic mirror from Walmart. And this light is actually a bathroom fixture that you wire into the wall. And my boyfriend rewired it and put it on a dimmer so I can have the lights high or low. So that makes it really nice. So I can kind of adjust makeup. So that's awesome. 
And then on top of these acrylic drawers, which I got at Container Store, they're much cheaper than the Mijis. These are like under $10 a piece. So, and these just used to be candle holders as well. So, um, I have a candle, a little frame clip, which I'll like put up a picture of something I want to recreate that day or something like that. And then I have just some aerosol thermal water, some Ben Nye final seal, which I do not suggest this for your face. It really, really burns, but it's awesome for setting body makeup. I have my e.l.f. Uh, makeup mist and set, and then just um, purified water in a container. I don't see a point in buying Fix Plus or anything like that when you can just buy purified water and put it in a spray bottle. So in these, in the top drawer, I have just kind of miscellaneous stuff, chapstick, lip conditioner, contacts, little Hello Kitty mirror my mom bought me for my birthday. Nothing too fancy in there. This I have like sponges, double-ended brushes, um, powder puffs, things like that. This is all kind of tools. So in here I have my fringe keepers, um, my little star, uh, eye accent template, my pencil sharpeners, dull tweezers for eyelashes, eyelash glue, my regular tweezers, uh, eyelash curlers, um, liner sealer, stuff like that. Then this drawer I keep all of my uh, lip pencils and this is really convenient. I can see all the colors very easily. There's not a lot of digging around so it makes it really nice. And then I have the same with my eyeliners. And then my mascara is down at the bottom. Then over here I just have this, which once again was a candle holder. And I just put my dirty brushes in here. So they don't make, get mixed up with my clean brushes. But they're not just sitting someplace either. So I know these need to be washed. And then in here I keep just like little notebooks. A uh, couple of magazines with some good inspirational books. Sephora catalogs, Makeup Artist Magazine, Makeup Store Magazine, and then the best of kind of clippings. So I can kind of go through them and decide if there's anything I want to try. Up on top of my drawer here, I have just some candle holders. These little things, which I just thought were cute. They're supposed to be glasses. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I just thought they were cute. And a little owl bookend and a little domo. And then... On this pad, it ha comes with the pen, which I really like about it, and I just write down all the stuff I buy that month and where I got it, if it was on sale, how much it was, so I don't forget anything or lose a receipt or anything like that. And then I just need to exchange this nail polish. And then I just have more candle holders, and then these are my most worn lashes, and they're kind of all dying. So I need to take them into Forever 21 and match them up because they don't have numbers or anything on the back. So I just need to take them in and match them up and get replacements for them. That's why they're up there. Alright, now on to my drawer unit, which is not completely full, but it's pretty decently sized. So on this top drawer, I just have all these little bins all come from Walmart. They come in packs of three, and they're really handy. So I have like my cream color bases, um, cream eyeshadows, anything like that over here that are kind of in a pot form. Anything I would need to use a brush with. And then these are all like my stick ones. So these ones you can just draw right on the eye and then smudge out like with your finger or something. And then these are all my eyeshadow primers. I normally don't buy eyeshadow primers very often because you get these with the Urban Decay sets. And they last a really long time so I don't find that I need to really buy primers. And this is all of my eyebrow stuff. So, and then like I even have my powder for my colored eyebrows in here. Which I just ordered a like royal blue and a lighter purple. I'm excited to try those. So there's all that. All right, next drawer um, has some eyelashes in it. They're just kind of thrown in here because they don't really have a permanent home right now. These are all my Love and Beauty ones. These are my most worn lashes. I wear these more than any other brand that I own. And I like how they have 
kind of more natural fun ones and then like really dramatic fun ones year round I really like their lashes and then I have just various other ones that wouldn't fit in here back here so like these icing ones are awesome they're like really vibrant blue at the ends or the inner corners I like those so just anything like that is back there also my under lashes are back there stuffed in the back so kind of when I want to wear them. I don't wear under lashes very often, but all right. Then over here I have liquid eyeliners. Um, pretty much most of them are colors or glitters. I don't really use black liquid liner very often. And then in here I have other kinds of eyeliners. So my gel liners, my cake liners, my kajals, anything like that. And then over here I have my glitters, so anything glitter related, glitter bases, loose glitters, cream glitters, these little glitter pens, anything like that goes in here. Alright, and here is highlights and bronzers, and then like liquid cheek products, like liquid or cream blushes, and then just some miscellaneous smaller powder blushes. And then more blushes up here. Just kind of stacked so I can kind of thumb through them and find which one I want. In here are a lot of my colored eyeshadows. So in the back here I have like this little container with my blue pigments in it. Because they tend to fall to the bottom and get lost. And then these are all my blue eyeshadows. And then this is yellows and greens. Pinks and reds. These are all my purples, and then my purple loose shadows and pigments. All right. And here is more of my neutral colors. So these are more neutral pigments back here. Not very many of them. Kind of highlights and whites. My neutral colors, which I just started getting into neutral, so I don't really have that much. And then these are grays and blacks, and then my pigments back here. And here are all my eye palettes, so I just kind of have them stacked. This one normally goes at the bottom, but I've been using it so much that it's just sitting on top. And I just kind of have what I can stack up, stacked up, and then these ones I just lay down because they're too big. But I like them stacked up like this more, so I can kind of see what I'm grabbing at. And then I have my La Femme palette back here. And then these are just random pigments that I've had for absolutely ever and I just put them in vitamin containers from the container store. So there's all those. This is foundation. Now my blushes used to be down here. That's why this spot's kind of empty. But they were just taking up too much room. I didn't have enough space for them. So I have my concealers and my potted concealers. My foundations over here. Which I'm a big person like mixing person I like to mix foundations so I have a lot of like different textured ones powders any kind of powder loose powder pressed powder um, powder foundation anything like that goes in here and then primers are over here so and then that's just there because I was digging for something over here and it got knocked over there all right next is my lip drawer I just got these from the container store. They were about $7 each, and I love them. It makes it so much easier. And these are kind of broken down into brand just because I know my brands pretty well on these. So I have, like, my CoverGirls, my Maybellines, my Revlon, and then my Sleek. And then I just have a primer, a uh, lipstick sealer from NYC. Stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. Um, a little lipstick palette. And then over here I kind of have cream lipsticks and then a few random other lipsticks. These are kind of more my paint, my pen kind of lip stains. And then these are more like longer lipsticks that don't fit in here. And then back here are extra lip glosses that I don't wear all that often. And then in my last drawer it's just kind of storage. So I have like... My brush roll from eBay that I only use a couple of the brushes out of it and empty brush rolls, some extra beads, wire for my curtains, um, some stuff I'm getting for a giveaway, 
Um, this bin, which just has miscellaneous crap, extra sponges, brushes I don't use, toothbrush for exfoliating my uh, for exfoliating my lips, a uh, little spatula for depotting lipsticks, uh, tape, stuff like that. Um, some of my bigger lashes that wouldn't fit in there. So like these, I love these. Or my Hot Topic lashes. I always buy up their lashes when they go on clearance after Halloween because they're only a couple of dollars and they're really good and they're really fun. So I get a bunch of those when they go on clearance after Halloween. All my teeny tiny little brushes that I don't really use very often. Uh, in here I keep extras of stuff. So if so I'm almost out of something and it goes on sale, I'll buy it and put it in here. Or if they come in a two-pack, I'll put it in here. And then a million of these fast dry top coats from Wet n Wild because they had a promotion. If you bought a nail polish, you got one free. So I ended up with like six of them. So <laughs> that's that. Under here is just stuff from my contacts because it's really too big to fit any place else. So, all right, let's see if I can stand up without shaking you all around. So that is the overview of my collection and my storage. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.